Hi, this is Bill over at X4G, and today I'm going to show you how to add lyrics to music and sync it up with the music, and also multiple ways to present your text uh, in static and dynamic in order to make a more interesting video. Uh, now, the editing program that I use is Sony Vegas Pro. And as you can see, I've already got one created here and ready to go. And I'm just going to show you the different types of text and the different uh, methods I used to create this little example here for you. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is your music. And the second thing you're going to need is maybe a few pictures or a GIF, uh, a GIF. I use a GIF in this case just because there's actually some action going on in the background. It's a, it's a little more entertaining than just staring at a picture while you're waiting for the lyrics to go by. I had a request from a member of X4G to show us how to create text on the top and bottom. And here it is. It's actually very simple. All you do is you go to Media Generators and you pick Text. Or you can pick Credit Roll. First you find the text that you want to use. I'll just go with the plain simple text here and it'll pop up with the media generator. Just highlight, create the size you want. I use 22 for this here. Okay, And you can make this say anything you want. And you just hit X. We'll go to where it is in the event and there it is. Now, it's in the center of the screen. Uh, by request, he wanted it on the top and not on the bottom. And that's easy to do. Open up Event Pan Crop. This is a view of what Tony Vegas is looking at. And by clicking anywhere in the box, you can move and drag your text around to anywhere you want it on the screen. You can have it centered, bottom left, etc. Now there's two types of uh, text I'm going to be using, and I call them static and dynamic. Static, of course, is just going to stay put where it's at. Dynamic is going to move around across the screen, fade in, fade out, or scroll. Uh, one way you can do this is by just taking your static text and creating a keyframe. And I'll move it to, I don't know, three quarters of the way over, create a keyframe. And I'm going to move this, move the uh, box here. Uh, anywhere. Just move it anywhere. I'm going to move down to the bottom right for the example here. And now, when I play through it, you'll see that that text that I wrote now kind of floats down to the bottom of the screen where that keyframe is. And that is one way. And there's also a couple other ways. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, right here, I just used some... Uh, by the way, I'm using the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. This is just static text. And what I've done is I've added uh, a fade offset. And I personally really like the fade. I always use the fade. I really enjoy it. And I'll show you exactly what that's going to look like here. And we'll just fade in and out. And next I also have credit roll. And again, you just go to credit roll and you pick uh, whatever kind of credit roll you'd like to have in there. All right, I'm just going to pick one here. Uh, let's go with the side scrolling. Okay. And now my picture's all whitewashed out. Well, first of all, let's deal with that. Let's fix that. Let's go to styles and generated media. That's the one that should pop up by default and change the background color. Now, the white and gray squares that tells you that the background is transparent. So go ahead and scroll that down all the way. Our background is now transparent. And if you don't want blue letters, just pick any color you want. I'll go with uh, yellow. And now you have the title text, sub-item text. A little tip that I use is I just make them all title text. And that's just by right-clicking and dragging here. So now, when it plays, 
It's going to be a little slow because it's got a lot of text to go through. But that's the general idea. And now, one thing you also have to do is, of course, time it up with the music on the bottom there. Just you got to give it a few listens too to make sure that it is synced up with the lyrics. What you want to do is you want to go in and adjust the length. Now the default is set to 10 here. I've changed this one to 7 so that it pops up every time the singer sings. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here and I'll show you how it looks. Now you're not going to be able to hear any audio because of course I'm recording. I also have a different kind of credit roll and this is just the flash in and out credit roll and then I also have a zoom in and out. I'll see if I can zoom in and pick it up for you here. It just, it just pops in and out. And then also uh, another example here are some static text. And uh, I just made it fade out at the end there. And so it's pretty much up to you how you want your lyrics to go across the screen. You can have them be static and just stay there. You can have them scroll across with credit roll. Uh, be creative. You know, take your time. The more time you put into it, the better it's going to look. And that's the secret of Sony Vegas. It's actually really easy to use. It just it does take a lot of time. I'm going to show you this clip here so you can get a better understanding of how the text is going to come across in the final product. Remember to visit X4G, that's www.extremefergraphics.com with an X. If you have any need of any tutorials, feel free to drop us a thread. We're more than happy to help you out. Go ahead and register and join our community there, it's free. And we're all about helping each other, sharing our ideas and talents with each other. Thanks for watching.